how our public funds are spent. This is your tax dollars and mine. We should know where that money's going. It should be accounted for. Before Jeff came up here, how many of you knew who the state auditor was? By a show of hands. Anybody? Not too many. And you guys are in the know. You guys are involved in politics. You're here today at the state convention, and you didn't know who he was. He's been in office since 1994. Of course, he's a Republican. But we need change. The Republican status quo has got to go, and this is one way we can do it. I have a hunch, and maybe some of you will agree with me, if we get a Democrat elected to this office, I think we can uncover a lot of things that have been brushed under the carpet for the last 14 years. The Republican status, status quo has got to go. Let me tell you a little bit about myself. I am, as Megan pointed out, a naturalized citizen to the United States. I was born in Scotland, and my family emigrated to the US. And as such, I have what many people term immigrant optimism. What is that? Well, I'll tell you what it is. It's the idea that we can achieve each and every dream that we may have, every aspiration in this great nation, even becoming state auditor. I hope to be the first woman in the state of, of Utah to hold this office. I have been a Salt Lake County resident for the last 22 years, and for 17 of those 22 years, I have been a Magna resident. I happen, I happen to marry into the Collard clan, and many of you may know or have known my father-in-law, who was a union organizer in Magna, Don Collard. So I come from a very long line, albeit married into, of Democrats. I'm currently a regional director for the county party, and my husband Q is here with me today, as is my son Chaz. Q has a terrible predicament, and I'll tell you what it is. He has a very low regard for politics and politicians in general. <laughs> and unfortunately, he finds himself married to me. The way I justify that is I say, Q, I'm not a politician. I'm a public servant because I happen to believe that the best way we can give back to society is through public service. However, with that comes great responsibility. As your next state auditor, I will be honored to be the auditor for the entire state of Utah not just a Democratic auditor, unlike our Republican counterparts. I will be honored to represent all of the citizens of this great state. I believe in openness and transparency in government, and I will work diligently and tirelessly to safeguard the prudent expenditure of your public funds and also the accountability of those funds. I have over 22 years in management and leadership roles in banking and credit unions. I will take that knowledge and the knowledge of how to get things done with me to the Office of State Auditor. I am very well qualified to be your next State Auditor. I'm asking for your support today, and I would encourage all of you to visit my website, which is voteclairecollard.com for additional information. I want to thank you and commend all of you for being here today on a beautiful spring day. You guys are furthering the democratic process in Utah. I, always, I would also like to encourage you to ask for support from your friends and family and your associates. 
say, you know what? You really should vote for Claire Collard because there's no one who will work more tirelessly to obtain our democratic objectives. So please pass that word. And tomorrow when you visit with your mothers, tell mom to vote for me too. In closing, I would just like to say, I am so proud to be a Democrat, to be part of a party that shares my core values. I am so proud to be a liberal in this great state of Utah. And I will be especially proud in November to be your next state auditor. Thank you so much, Claire College State Auditor.